Okay, so we're going to do the law of definite proportions. We've studied a lot about it in lab um, and in analyzing our data. It's a very simple law. What does it say? It says a chemical compound will always contain the same proportion of elements by mass. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we have when we have a chemical compound, it's always going to make be made up of more than one element. That's what a chemical compound is. It has more than one element bonded to each other. So, for example, in H2O, we have two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. What this law says that those hydrogen and oxygen will always have a ratio of 1 gram hydrogen to 8 grams oxygen. So that ratio, 1 to 8, will always be the same no matter how much water you have. Um, this was a fact that was used by John Dalton when he came up with his atomic theory. Uh, now, you might say, well, how did they know 1 gram to 8 grams? Well, essentially, they did the same thing you, you folks did in lab, is that they uh, did experiments and measured before and after the um, products and the reactants. And this is true for any compound. They'll always have the same ratio of elements by mass. So let's say a student found, we're going to do a little problem here. A student found the mass of magnesium in a magnesium oxide to be 4 grams. And the total mass of the compound was 6.68 grams. So just the magnesium was 4 grams, but the total mass was 6.68 grams. So what is the percent magnesium in the compound? That's one way we can get at what the ratio is. So to find that out, and oh, the other part of the question is, would that percent change if there were only 1.5 grams of magnesium oxide instead of 6.68 grams? Well, to find the percent magnesium, we would take the amount of magnesium, 4 grams, over the total mass of our compound, MgO, 6.68 comes out to be 60% magnesium. Now, would that change if we only started with 1.5 grams of, thing, of uh, magnesium oxide? No, it would not change because the percent of magnesium is always the same. That's what the law of definite proportion says. The ratio of magnesium to oxygen is always going to be the same in that compound. You'll always have 60% magnesium in magnesium oxide. Um, and likewise, then, you, if you have 60% magnesium, then you would have 40% oxygen. So the ratio, if we wanted to then find the ratio of magnesium to oxygen, it'd be a 6 to 4 ratio. We can reduce that to 3 to 2 ratio. We could reduce that to 1 and a half to 1. There'd be 1 and a half times more mass of magnesium than there would be of the oxygen. And that's the law of definite proportions.